What's up guys? It is Friday and instead of a normal vlog, I thought I would do a food vlog for this weekend. It is our official second weekend of quarantine, so um, I don't know about you guys, but food is one of the things that makes us the most excited these days. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys literally everything that we eat this weekend. Starting with tonight, it is Friday night. I worked today and we thought that it would be fun to order from one of our favorite restaurants in Minneapolis. So we ordered online and we're just gonna go pick it up at the door. We already paid for it, so it's literally just like grab and go, it's super easy. Um, so yeah, we ordered two pizzas from them. Their pizzas are literally amazing. The best in Minneapolis, I will say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head and go get that right now and then go back, have pizza and wine and just a chill Friday night. Okay, so we just picked up the food and we got Young Joni, which if you live in Minneapolis or close by, it is the best pizza ever. Um, we got the tavern, which is jalapeno, pepperoni, and honey, and you guys, it is literally the best pizza ever. We also got a side of their kimchi because we're making a breakfast bowl tomorrow and we've heard that their spicy kimchi is super good. So we haven't tried this, but I'm excited to try it tomorrow. It looks really good. Our second pizza is, um, I don't know, how do you say it? The Parisian. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so they give you arugula here to put on top of it, but since it's to go, they didn't want to do it. And then it has ricotta, prosciutto, um, mustard seeds, caramelized onions. and caramelized onions. Yes, oh my good. gosh, our car smells so good. Should we just eat in our car? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, so we have to add the other toppings to this. So this is the mustard seed. I don't know if it's focusing. And then the arugula. So I'm going to put that on top of this. Okay. And then I feel they just kind of did this. And you all know how I feel about arugula, so we're using it all. Okay, cool. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning and we're about to start breakfast. So today we're gonna make a Korean inspired breakfast bowl. I am obsessed with anything in the form of a bowl. I just think it's so good. And I like that you can add like a ton of toppings because toppings are the best part of any meal, I think. So yeah, I've never made this recipe. I kind of came up with it in my head. So um, hopefully it turns out, but yeah, we're gonna start cooking. All right, these are the things that we're gonna use to make it. So we have rice, which we're gonna put a little soy sauce in pulled pork that we made the other day, so we're just gonna reheat that, um, a fried egg, avocado, green onion, jalapeno, the kimchi that we bought yesterday, and then I think I'm gonna put a little spicy mayo on the side. Like I said, we've never made this, but I'm hoping that it turns out, and I think it will. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut up all of the veggies that we're adding on top, and then David's doing the egg and the meat. Okay, so we're gonna plate. I'm gonna do some of the rice. Okay, and then some of the pulled pork. Spicy kimchi. Okay, and then some jalapeno. green onion, avocado, okay, and then put a fried egg on top, 
And then I'm just gonna drizzle just like a tiny bit of this spicy mayo. Then just top it with a little pepper. And we're done. Looks so good. Okay, it is a lot later now. I think it's around five o'clock. Yeah, so it's pretty early for dinner, but we're making um, unstuffed shells and we want the sauce and stuff to sit for a while. So we're gonna start cooking now and just take our time because you know what? When you're quarantined, there's not much to do. So we're just gonna take our time and cook a really good dinner. Um, I'm not going to show step by step on how to make it. I'll kind of show you guys along the way, but I will leave all the recipes that we follow throughout the weekend in the description. So if anything looks really good to you, you can find it there, follow the directions. But yeah, we're making unstuffed shells tonight, which sound and look amazing. Okay, so this is a ground chicken that David did a bunch of seasonings in before we started. Um, I'm pretty sure the recipe says that you can do any sort of meat that you want. And then these are just all of the things that we're going to be using. These are the shells that we got, which looks super good. So basically, if you have ever had a stuffed shell, it's similar to that, but deconstructed. So it's really saucy. And then at the bottom, you put ricotta, and it sounds so good. These, by the way, are the best tomatoes. If you're ever wanting to make your own pasta sauce, get those. Okay, so we browned the chicken and now I'm adding shallots, garlic. Okay, so now the sauce is just simmering. And then at the end, you put in the noodles and some spinach. It smells so good. Okay, and then these are two of the toppings. This is an olive oil, lemon, basil, like drizzle. And then this is whipped ricotta. Okay, so now we finish the sauce and we're adding some spinach just putting that in at the very end and then you add the noodles so this is simmered for probably like a half hour and now you just put in jumbo shells this also makes so much we literally could have probably like capped this recipe but the first thing you do is add the whipped ricotta onto the plate Then you add the pasta. Okay, and then you just top it with this olive oil and lemon basil mixture. I like this looks so good. Okay, we're gonna do a little taste test. I mean, there's nothing more attractive than eating on camera, but cheers. Mm. It's so good. That's so good. I really like the lemon olive oil on top. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. That is amazing. I actually did follow a recipe for this one, so I'll leave it in the description. Definitely need to try this. I think it's easier than normal stuffed shells, so if you're interested, look in the description. Okay, so this isn't food, but I thought I would share with you guys our drinks that we're having tonight. So we're doing homemade margaritas. Um, we're gonna like squeeze limes. It's gonna be so good. So excited. So one and a half cups tequila. Okay, so we're taking tequila. Oh God, this is a lot of tequila. One cup of triple sec. Triple sec. So now I'm gonna squeeze a bunch of limes. Okay, fresh lime juice. Okay, and then we made some simple syrup, which is just sugar and water. And how much? Four cup. Hey, okay, here we go. We're gonna try them.
Those are delicious. That's really good. I love the, the much fresh lime juice in it. Yeah, okay. Those are bomb. Really good recipe. Okay, it is lunch time, and for lunch we're gonna make veggie sandwiches, which are something we always make when we're visiting David's grandparents in Florida, and we sometimes crave them here, so that's what we're gonna have for lunch. And then we're gonna do a side of homemade french fries. Um, David and I have given up fried food for 40 days and we're both craving fries super bad. So I'm gonna home make my own and basically just gonna cut them up super thin and then toss them in olive oil, salt and pepper and then bake them. And then I did read that um, right at the end of the cooking process, you put butter on the pan and that's supposed to help crisp them up even more so we're gonna try this we'll see how they turn out but french fries just sound so good right now so hopefully they're good okay so I'm gonna cut the potato like this and then just slice it super thin I think that's gonna be the best way to do it Okay, so I cut them all up. They're all pretty skinny. I'm going to drizzle them in olive oil. And then add some pepper. And salt. Toss them. The main tip is to not overcrowd your pan so that they can all kind of sit straight and they're not overlapping okay so i preheated my oven to 425 and now i'm going to put these in for 15 minutes and then flip them and leave them in for another 15. they're already looking super good so i'm excited about that i'm just gonna randomly throw some butter throughout the fries Okay, so while those are in the oven, I'm going to prep all the veggies for the sandwiches. Um, basically, it's just vegetables. We add cheese and mayo, and that's it. It's super good. Um, we use lettuce, cucumber, tomato, onion. We bought sprouts, and then just a normal cheese. I don't know why, but it's just so good. So the trick to this is cutting all your veggies really, really thin. I just feel like it makes the sandwich so much better. So, yeah, I'm going to chop up chop all of this stuff up and then we'll be ready to eat. Hey guys, here's the final fry. They got very crispy and I'm so excited about it. And then here's our sandwiches which look also, very good. All right, it's Sunday night and we're about to make dinner. Tonight we're making crispy chicken tacos. Um, it's basically a taco and you fold it in half and then you bake it so they get really crispy. Um, we're gonna use turkey instead of chicken, but other than that, we're following a recipe basically to a T. So I will link that in the description, like always. And if you guys wanna try it, it'll be there. Um, I'm gonna make the, what is it called? jalapeno ranch and David is doing the meat right now so we're kind of tag teaming but um I don't know these tacos look and sound so good right now I can't wait So this is everything for the cilantro uh, ranch dressing. I'm going to shake it. Okay, so we have the little corn tortillas and we put these in the oven for five minutes. And then you add the meat and the cheese and then put them back in to melt the cheese.
Okay, so we folded them and now I'm basically just going to paint on a little olive oil to help get them a little crispier. Okay, then back into the oven one more time. Okay, here's the finished product. We're gonna put hot sauce on them, obviously, but this looks amazing. You guys definitely need to make these. I will put the recipe in the description. Other than that, I'm gonna close out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you next time. Bye.